and another morning at the 2019 van build and I found an incredible bus that I wanted to show you guys. Let's go! Wow! <laughs> Hi Heather! Hi Chris! How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank so you. Are you enjoying yourself at the van build? Oh yeah, good is this Is this your first van build event? It is, yeah. We found out about it from the Matthews. They're um, fellow traveler. Right next door yeah, fellow yeah. travelers, yeah. Uh, where are you guys from? West Virginia and Maryland, but I lived in West Virginia for a long time, even, even though I'm from Maryland originally. Wow, that's quite a trip. So, um, yeah. But were you already in the area or did you come all the way just for this? We were in Colorado to pick up the bus. We've been on the road for seven months. Okay. So we're newbies. Wow. So yeah, this bus. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. And, and, and the striking thing is that Volkswagen bus on top. Mm -hmm. That's incredible. Yeah. And uh, it's got a name, the Road Sweet Home. And what's, what's Addie? Addie is, is the name of um, a friend's child who loved this bus. So okay. that's how it gets the name. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, this bus uh, looks like it's got quite a history. So um, tell me a little bit about it. Well, the Luce family who were on it previously, if you search Road Sweet Home, the bus family, you'll find um, some social media presence of theirs. They lived on the road for about two years in this bus that they made a tiny home. My brother, who is also one of the current bus owners, now part of Road Sweet Home, the bus family too. Um, T-O-O, not, no, not the number two. Um, he did help with the work of putting this 72 Volkswagen on top of this 92 International bus. So a lot of friends and uh, you know family within that group based out of Colorado has worked on this and now we're adding some work to it too. We were working on sealing the roof here at the van build because it leaks a lot. Um, we are also going to get our towing in order which has been a process because of some wiring issues. Yeah. And the good thing about the van build which we're learning is how much community and knowledge happens here. Everyone seems really willing to help um, and Travis especially has been, Travis Matthews has been super helpful as has Stephanie Matthews. Their whole family has been super helpful t for us. Awesome, yeah, it's, it's really a great community. So uh, I guess let's go inside, it's so bright out here and see how this, how this functions and looks from the inside. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Look at that space. Yeah, it adds a lot of head space. And those rings up there are plant rings. I have my plants outside getting nice oh, yeah. full on sunshine right now. You can see not, not a lot of sun is coming mm -hmm. into that spot right now. But that's Yeah, it. I've seen how it looks like on Instagram. So maybe I'll, um, I'll put that in as a still. Nice. Photo and uh, yeah, so you got, a, you got a great space here. There's like a little dinette at the entrance. Mm -hmm. Then you have like a lounge area with the super high ceiling, which we're gonna show here in a sec. And then, uh, and then there's a kitchen and bathroom, I guess. Yeah, this is our bathroom. One of the updates we've done in the seven months we've been here is to turn this into a composting toilet versus a black water tank, which we pulled out. Yeah. The interesting thing about this dinette that you pointed out is that before the Luce family turned it into a tiny home to live on the road, they had it as a cafe so it was a food truck essentially called Big Bear's Cafe parked in Colorado possibly in Maryland prior to that and that is how they created income for their family so this bus has had a lot of lives it was of course a school bus first then it was Big Bear's Cafe for years for the family's income the loose family then it was their tiny home and now we're part of the tiny home process of this amazingly creative bus that's awesome yeah uh, and I see this woodwork here on this reclaimed bench. Yeah, church Man, pew. Man, this, mm -hmm. this is beautiful. Yeah, wow. it's gorgeous. So there used to be a lot of tables in mm -hmm. here for dining. Cool. 
and this is definitely lived in. I mean, and right now we're doing so much work, you're gonna see bits of copper wire and dishes we haven't gotten around to yet. So that's just part of it, you know? This is a truly lived in space and we're in process of working on it. And what we're finding out for a lot of people who live the nomadic life is that they're usually working on something. Yes. So, so let's look at this what this does with the Volkswagen. So it really opens up the space here. Mm -hmm. You get like a sense of the ceiling height and those windows, that's... Yeah, they're fun. Quite amazing. And yeah, I, I bet your plants are very happy up there. They are really happy up there, yeah. Yeah, but it's only half of the bus, so there's more to it. Uh, yes, to and I cleaned out a little bit of an aisle, but it's narrow, just to yeah. warn you. That's okay. <laughs> to get up so you can see the other part of the bus, too. So it might work best if you actually go ahead and go up the, the fun little stairs. Wow. All right. It's a little bedroom. Yeah. Oh my goodness. The view is incredible. It is, yes. It's a great view and there's... Um, my brother recently put that skylight in up there. Yeah. Right. Wow. And then, and then on the other side, the hatch is still operational, so you can actually get out on the roof very easy here. Yes. And the deck is usually centered, but right now, since we're working on ceiling, it's off to the side there. Yeah. And we're going to work on one side at a time. Right. So you have actually like a deck where you can put your chairs out and then enjoy the view. Yeah, we love doing that. Especially in the morning when it's cool for breakfast. Wow, that is some idea. Look at that again. That's like one of the original hatches here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cool. Yeah. And then, of course, you get a little bit of storage in here as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And then there's another room back there. Mm-hmm. Or bedroom. There's a bedroom back there. Surprisingly, there's a king-size bed in it. <laughs> it's, um, I guess maybe not so surprisingly. A bus yeah, is pretty yeah. wide. Good, let's get a shot from this angle. It is an ongoing project to seal it off. It is. There's been a lot of leaks and any ho any hole you put in a roof just yeah. invites water in. So that's something to be aware of. Um, we took on this bus. It was already in this shape. And there's a lot of assets to having a bedroom up there, especially when all three of us are on the bus, Matthew, Andrew, and I. That's a whole nother bed that's really helpful. Mm -hmm. um, and hopefully this ceiling project that we're working on right here at the van build is going to take care of it. I mean, that's our, that's our hope. We're doing, yeah. a, we're doing it. We're trying to do it right. You know, we're scraping off all the silicone and redoing it completely at the seals and anywhere it's looking like it's cracking around screws and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we are, uh, cleaning it up real well, resealing it with uh, GeoCell, and then we're going to do um, a double coat of Henry's Eco mm -hmm. White. Yeah. And we've looked into both their silicone and their acrylic products and found out from people on the road what their preference is and why, yeah, yeah. and based on research and people's experience experience with yeah. their roof. We're probably going to paint after we get the part where the deck is and where the solar panels are, which is the most important project while we have extra hands at a at a community event like this because we have to move the solar panels yeah. off in order to seal and move the deck in order to seal. How high is the bus with the other oh, bus on top? We have 13 feet, so our mm -hmm. clearance is 13. Okay, yeah, you gotta be aware of that when you, you drive do. through tunnels and things. Yeah, we did a measurement and more so even we found when we're getting gas. Yeah, we get some gas, gas more stations. than we drive through tunnels, it yeah. seems. So you have to really pay attention to what the clearance is at the gas station. Um, well, we get diesel. We also have a vegetable oil tank, but uh -huh. we're still learning how to use that. But that yeah. was installed by the previous. Uh, well, they're still part of this bus's family. Yes. So I kind of hate using that language, previous family. We're just additions to Road Sweet Home, the bus family. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So. Well, it's it's quite an adventure, I bet. It is, yeah. And not even on the road a year, I'm I'm learning a lot. So. Mm -hmm. But you you're still excited about it. I am. Yeah, I like it. I like this lifestyle so far. Cool. Well, thank you so much, Heather, and I um, uh, hope we see you around. I hope so too.